Libre and Press. Hmm, these letters look a little bit small. Let's check their size. Well, the 36 points should be pretty big. That's 24 points. Hmm, why is 24 bigger than 36? By the way, let's check again here. Ah, huh, it's only 18. Okay. By the way, did you see the delay? Double click. We need about two second, one second, two seconds. And then these 24. Let's check again. They're actually 36. Let's change the transparency of this area. Hmm, nice, works fine. Let's change the transparency of the line. Um, okay, we, we just have a number here, so it looks totally different, nice. Okay, different interface, okay, looks nice. Let's change the transparency of this picture. Hmm. Ah, okay, ah, we got this again, nice, okay. More interface consistency would be very nice here. A presentation with slide number and slide count. Slide number one, count three. Slide number two, count three. Slide number four, count three. Okay, something is wrong here. It doesn't count the hidden slide for one number, but for the other, it does, what, strange. Let's draw an arrow. Hmm, these steps are too big. Let's use the Alt key to have smaller steps. Okay, I have smaller steps now, but what happens with the, why do we have a tail now? Let's create some new text. Let's put it right here in the corner. Okay, it got like somehow a little bit to the left. Okay, now write it, leave it. Okay, what was that? Hmm, this text is too small. Let's enlarge it. Okay, why does it break? Why does it unbreak? Okay, every second time it breaks. Hmm, that's very strange. Ooh, I got some text here. Let's rotate it. Um, no, this is just for sizing. No, click again, click again. No, double click brings me, no, okay, no, no. No, strange, uh, str uh, control, uh, shift, alt, no, no, I, I just can't like rotate this text box. It's not, uh, not possible. I need this shape here in my other slide. So I paste it here, but I need to put it more in the top. So I put, push the up arrow key on my keyboard. What, what, what was that? Uh, okay, wait, let's try again. Copy, paste, up, okay. Apparently, when I copy and paste something, then it seems selected, but it's actually not. I need to add the current date to my slide, so I go insert, field, and date variable. Okay, but that's the wrong format. I need to change the format. Okay, we have list, line, shadow, whatever. Okay, doesn't work. So we go to insert, field. Usually, there should be more fields, as in writer here. No, okay. So I just impress, it's just not able to put the right format that I need for the date on my slide. That's very sad. Hmm, I want to mark this text from here until the end. I want to make this, but with my keyboard. So I just click here and now I press Control, Shift and End. And this is what's happening. The slide is moving to the last, well, to the end. I need these characters in my other slide right here. And let's put them here. Okay, why did all this get big now? Hmm, these lines are way too close. Let's increase it to, um, let's say, two. Okay, what is this here? That like, looks pretty unbalanced. We have a big space here, no space here. Okay, what can we do? Maybe let's just add a new line here. Okay, it also doesn't work. So, okay, it doesn't work. Okay, so if we have a line around it, then we actually, then this feature is like literally not useful. What else can we do? Uh, wow, we have we have this, we have the leading. Okay, that, that works kind of, yeah. It's a nice workaround. But then again, what are these options for? Notes view, imagine you have a lot of notes, then you can't actually see them. How much notes do we have? You see that this is about half, this is actually half of this text box and we, we just literally can't scroll down. I need a new master slide that has nothing on it. Let's remove this. Okay, I can't remove it. Let's remove this. I can't remove this. So Impress forces you to use this title area and forces you to use whatever you call this. Now I have this new slide master. We have white text and we have the blue background. Yeah, of course we have still, the bullet points are still black. Well, we can't change it, that's not possible. But that's not what we're here for. Let's close the master and apply that master to this one. We go slide, change slide master and we set the blue one with the white text. And what's happening? Well, we got white with, uh, what? 
black text. What is this for? Okay, so it doesn't matter what I said in the slide master. Okay, it does and, and the bullet point still back. Okay. Okay, let's change. Let's go back to the slide master, master slide. Okay, if this doesn't help us, I mean if even if we set stuff, it doesn't affect anything, so we remove it again. Oh, it doesn't work. Hmm, that's kind of sucks. I have this nice object. It has an animation, so we have to press once to make it appear. Let's copy this one. I need it several times. Uh Okay, I can't copy the animation. That's odd. I can't copy animation, so the only thing that it's left to do is I can select all and put them all to appear then. Okay, but then they also have everything appears with one click, so I have to change that as well. Mark everything, right click, start on click. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, so we now have to go through. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I do right click here and it tells me it's already started on click because this is so like, okay. I didn't even knew about that bug, but apparently that's okay. I need two clicks, one, two, no, actually three clicks because the first click doesn't really work. Okay, it does work. It just just mustn't be too fast. Okay, let's go through this one by one. Okay, I try to speed things up. So I click here and I do a right click and I say start on click. And now I press the arrow key down to move to the next shape. Oh no, my focus is here, even though I was working here. How did this even happen? And while doing this stuff, why does my CPU spin up to 100%? You don't hear it probably, but my fan is working crazy. Hmm, I don't like the font of these titles. Let's change them in the master. Here's the master slide. Let's change the font to something crazy like this one. And maybe let's make it really tiny. Okay, what was that? Try again. Okay, no. Okay, when I click once, it just leaves it. Okay, I click once, smaller. I didn't even meant to show this one. <laughs> well, okay, so I have to actually enter it, mark everything, and then we can go smaller. Okay, now let's leave the master. Okay, nothing happened. Okay, actually, let's maybe I did a mistake. Let's check master again. No, it's, this is really small. Okay, this is really small. Okay, let's leave the master again. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure what, what was the master supposed to do here. I should change the color of this text. So let's open this one and I need a custom color. And, oh, that's nice. We can like slide around and see how the color moves. And what do we do here? Well, it kind of works, but my CPU is starting to run, or at least my fan is starting to run crazy. And you see that it's actually not smooth. Why is that like 12 gigabytes of RAM Core i5 is not enough for like changing the colors here. Okay, I'm not the one to judge. Uh, I have two arrows. I want to make this one as big as this one. So I select this one and choose width because it's pretty wide. Oh, it's apparently 0 0.5. No, it's actually 12, but this is selected. That's very strange. I like to change the end here. So we go here and maybe choose this one. Okay, that looks kind of strange. Okay, but maybe people like that. Let's choose a different one. Ah, oh, that works fine. That works fine. Let's use this one. Okay, still again we have this hole in here. What else do we have? Okay, okay, that's a little bit strange. Let's zoom in a little bit. Well, what's that supposed to be? Let's go on. Okay, what's that supposed to be? Or this one? I mean, is this is this? I mean, again. Is this by design? Is this like, do I miss something here? Like, should it be like this? On the other hand, we have stuff like, what? what is this even supposed to mean? Or this one, or I don't know, let's say this one. I mean, why is this so wide, but it doesn't affect this part? Kind of, kind of strange to me. Let's draw a curve. Okay, that's not a curve, that's a straight. Ah, okay, I get it. First set the point here and then it bends like over according to this point. Okay, then I guess my next point is here. Okay, that works fine. Okay, why isn't this bending? Okay, now I keep the mouse click. Okay, we have like two different ways of making a curve and the one way is only working for the first point and the second way is just weird and difficult to use. Let's draw a curve again. Okay, ah, okay, but these steps are a little bit too big for me. So I press Alt as it always is for LibreOffice to go in smaller steps. Okay, that works. So now we choose this point. Okay, no, that was not my intention to close this down. Um, okay, apparently the shape is finished now. Um, 
but I still have this curve tool. I don't want a curve tool, so I went back to my mouse. I press escape and okay. Now the shape disappeared. Okay, I press escape again. Okay. I understand that I was probably in some kind of edit mode, but there's no visual clue here, so no idea. And why does Alt has like two different functions at the same time that like a total, oh hell. Um, I don't like the red line, let's make it disappear. Let's set the width to zero. Okay, we have a value here. No, 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 we want to go to 0.5. Oh no, okay, that didn't work. Okay, let's go down. Zero, okay. No, wait, I said it's to zero. Zero, but it's still there. Let's change the corner style here. Rounded, metered, whatever that means. Beveled, I don't know. Let's put, this is now focused and let's put the mouse over it and now let's scroll down. Okay, we're scrolling in the window, scroll up, maybe again, scroll up. Okay, that's actually standard behavior for different, for different applications, it doesn't work here. So you just scroll inside the window. Okay, now I want to have this nice color gradient, like from strong color outside and no color inside. Let's go to gradient. And well, greenish is okay for start, but this should be transparent because it should get to the color up there. Okay, there's no transparent here. Let's just use white because the background is white. That works for me, it's okay. Now let's do the same setting for here. Well, that's the result. It just simply doesn't work. What can we do? Like this? No. Okay, it's just, it just doesn't, it's just simply not possible. 